You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Davis versus Simpson. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Davis, you say that after a rocky marriage and nearly 15 years separation, you reconnected with your ex-husband three years ago. You say Mr. Simpson is now denying he is your two-year-old daughter, Elizabeth's father, and you intend to prove paternity today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Simpson, you say that your ex-wife cheated on you multiple times and is incapable of being faithful. You say there is no way you are her daughter's father and today's DNA test will prove your case. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am, Your Honor. So, Ms. Davis, uh, what do you have to say about Mr. Simpson's assertion that you are incapable of being faithful? Your Honor, I think it's ludicrous. He's being an idiot. I know that she is his, and I'm tired of our past coming into play. Excuse me. Your Honor, uh, for a fact, I've known 11 times that she's cheated in her previous relationships. 11 times? Yes, ma'am. And... She's cheated in your previous relationship? Previous relationships, yes. 11? Yes. And that's just... What, what happened? It was we were married 15 years ago. And she tells me after I get off work to stay in the house, she got somebody to come and visit her. Okay. I stay in the house. Somebody pulls in my driveway. I walk out and she's in the car making out with these people. In front of your house? Yes. And you're inside? Yes. So, Ms. Davis, uh, have you been that busy? Um, did you cheat on your husband 11 times? No, I did not. But yes, I did cheat on him. We were married when I was 16 years old. I was just a kid. Okay. So, but every time I cheated, I was honest with him. So I never lied to him. <laughs> oh, so you cheated and told the truth. <laughs> and told the truth about it, yes. And we were only together for about nine months and then yep. we split up. Your Honor, I'm at work and she's home packing up her clothes. As soon as I come in, she's leaving with another man. So you on your way home and she's on her way out. <laughs> yes, ma'am. What made you take your wife back after she cheated on you 11 times? Mm. Did you feel like she had changed? Yes, she had kids with other guys after we separated. You felt like motherhood had matured her? Yes, as it would any woman. Okay. But there's a lot of coincidences, the same as before, that she's going out, sitting in cars in the middle of the night, and... I get family and friends telling me that she's bringing guys to my house all the time. Mm. While so wait, I'm gone. this is the second time around. You say the, the coincidences and all of the stories are still the same. Yes. But it's true you did reconnect. Yes, ma'am. And you all started to have a sexual relationship again. Well, yes, technically, yes. And the first week, technically, <laughs> the first week we were together, Your Honor, I had uh, problems. Uh, I, I just came out of a relationship. I have my own kids. I've got custody of all my kids. Things just wouldn't rise to the occasion because of all the stress that I was going through. All right, but yeah. Oh, okay. That but, you said that very respectfully. I understand. But yet, now, the first month we're together, she's taking a pregnancy test every week, once, twice a week. Oh, so you're saying even though you couldn't perform initially because of the stress, you see her taking pregnancy tests... Yes, ma'am. ...during this first month? Yes, numerous. And so you're saying to yourself, it couldn't be me. No. No, because before we got together, she was in a, uh, a sexual relationship with another. Mm. Like a week prior to when we got so, together. So, Ms. Davis, were you taking pregnancy tests that quickly? No. I didn't take a pregnancy test until after... He had left me, and I had no way to contact him. I was staying in his house. The electricity got shut off. So I had to go stay with a friend of mine that helped me and my daughter out. And yeah, I continued to be friends with him even after David came back. And uh, we stayed together even though he left me. And uh, I took a pregnancy test because we went out for New Year's Eve. And after that's whenever I found out I was pregnant. So you take the pregnancy test. You find out you're pregnant. Mm -hmm. And then what happens? You tell 
Mr. Simpson, mm -hmm. what happens? He was happy. He, he didn't seem to have any problems. So you told him in person, you called him on the phone, take me back to I that day. I told him in person. And uh, he seemed uh, happy, he seemed fine with everything. He didn't seem to have any problems that I knew of. But I, I told him whenever we got together this time that I was gonna be open and honest about everything. So I have not cheated on him. So you were happy, Mr. Simpson, when you found out she was pregnant? Yes, to an extent. <laughs> I okay. mean, I've had my doubts. I have to say, I've kept my doubts because I've always kept this past in my head where, you know, she's done it before, why not again? So the past is the past, though. I, I mean, at some point, once you take her back and you rekindle the relationship, you have to allow the past to be the past. Yes, but you don't go through the same coincidences over and over and But over. you said the same flags were coming up yes. and you thought she was cheating yes, again. Like of the middle of the night, it's 11 o'clock of the night time, all right? I'm in the bed. She's getting up, walking out the door to go sit in the neighbor's car. Actual cases. Her car had come through and slammed me up against the toolbox. There was a torpedo coming at my face. Personal injury court cases everyone's going to be talking about. She sits out there for two to three hours before she comes back in. Okay, but nobody told him that he couldn't come out there. This is the same person. <laughs> The same person that gave me and my daughter a place to stay. So, yeah, I was still friends with him. Mm. So, wait, two to three hours in the car just sitting out front with a friend, Miss Davis? Mm. I wasn't doing anything, just talking. Why not just say, hey, come on by? And then, I mean, he's in the house, just come on by and talk and sit on in the living room. Yes, ma'am. Why you gotta be in the car? Because he's too jealous. I mean, let's be honest. You cheated 11 times before, or maybe not 11, but you admitted you cheated. Now you're sitting out in front of the house with another man having conversations for two to three hours. He's gonna think something's going on either way. I mean, are you trying to build the trust or tear it down? No, I get where he's coming from, but at the same time, he's the one that's leaving and going and staying with his yeah. ex. He's the one that's letting his ex move in and <laughs> kicking me out while I'm pregnant. Wait, rewind. <laughs> rewind would be that way. You said he let his ex come live in the house with you all? Well, no. he. Text via text kicked me out <laughs> while I was pregnant to let his ex-wife move back in to, oh, to be a mother. Oh, this is when you got angry when she got pregnant and you thought the baby wasn't yours. Yes, technically. So then you start showing up. Well, it wasn't like that. I mean, it was... I, I didn't think she was able to be truthful, faithful, and... You lost hope at that point yes, after the thing in the car. Yes. It just felt like your life was replaying over again. Yes, I mean, it's like a book. You can only go through it so many times. The, and so you decided at that point she's up to the old... Yeah, the old tricks. Mm. Well, we but, won't say tricks, but well, that no. the <laughs> same old... We don't want that to be true. Mm -hmm. no. But you decide this woman's just not for me. This is never going to work. She's pregnant. It's not my baby. I'm going to move on. Yes, ma'am. So were you... You didn't participate all in the No, pregnancy. I've been here the whole time. He didn't, did he or did he? Mm hmm yeah. Was he there for the birth? Yeah, he mm -hmm. was there for the birth. I thought you had moved on. I could, uh, if he... there's a chance I could possibly be the father, I'm gonna stick it out. So you decided I'm stepping up regardless. I have doubt, but I'm stepping up. All right, and so you get to the hospital, beautiful baby is born, no, oh, here's a beautiful. picture. Beautiful baby is born. Do you sign the birth certificate? No, they won't let me. Why? Because she's still married. Whoa. So you were willing to sign it, but they wouldn't let you because she was technically still legally married to somebody else, and because of that, baby Elizabeth has your last name. Actually, I just refused to put his name on the birth certificate altogether. You refused to put the... My the husband. And they let you do that? Yeah. So now Elizabeth is almost two years old. Mr. Simpson, what kind of relationship do you have with her? Oh, <gasps> oh she's just gorgeous. I mean, if you look at it, who couldn't have a relationship with her? <laughs> I mean, she is 
She's everything. <laughs> Look at that smile. I see just instantly brought tears to your eyes, Miss Davis. What are you feeling looking at your beautiful little girl? I mean, she loves him. And uh, he's, he's a good dad. I wouldn't want a better dad for her. So why are the tears in your eyes? Because, I mean, I just want all this to be done and over with. And that way we can move on with our life. You wanna? Yes, sir. And my doubts, I mean, she's beautiful. But, I mean, do you see the curly hair? And the, my, all my family's straight headed. I've got Cherokee blood, and I don't know anybody in my family that, I mean, I... You don't feel like she bears any resemblance to your family? No. Or the traits? No. You feel like her curly hair is something that... Yes, yes. ...indicates to you that maybe somebody else could be her biological... Yes. ...father? So when you hold her and you hug her and you when play with her... When she's in my arms, that's all I think about. Aww. When I'm away and I'm thinking, uh, it, it just, it, it's so hard, it hurts so bad just to not know. So if Elizabeth is not your biological child, then what? I don't know. I'm, <laughs> she is my heart. The same as my other kid. I mean, <laughs> you take my heart out and I'm not here. It seems like you've been there through every milestone. Yeah. Are you saying to this court that after two years of being there for this beautiful baby, that you really aren't sure if you can continue to be in her life if she's not your <laughs> biological child? It would be hard. Mm. Wow. Because I wasn't told up front there was any possibility. When you hear him say this, Miss Davis, if he's not Elizabeth's biological father, he doesn't really know if he can continue to remain in her life because you didn't talk about the paternity issue up front. That means the stakes are very high for this baby. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you would like to say or share, anything you have not told him? I've been honest. I have nothing to hide. Mm. I haven't slept around with nobody. I've slept with one person, and that was whenever we started, started talking, and he knew about that. You said you slept with one person? One person. Is that why you were taking the pregnancy test when you first met him? Mm -mm. I, don't, I do not remember taking no pregnancy test until after New Year's. Ma'am, I'm sorry I mean, to interrupt. But who knows? I promise you, every week, I was buying a pregnancy test when we first got together. And it was like, you know, it's like I was saying. I can't even have sex this week, but yet I'm gonna have a pregnancy test I gotta buy. So as you're going to get these tests, you're thinking, what is this about? Yes, and I mean, I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm not bragging on myself, but I love my kids and I'll take care of them until I die. All right, I'm expecting settlement money coming in from an insurance and I want to make sure everything's okay and she's not just Wanting to use me as a father to a kid that could be somebody else's that would not be a good father. So you believe there's a very real chance that the other man could be the father, but because you are going to get this settlement, she's trying to say that you're the father because she's witnessed what an amazing father you are and she knows Elizabeth will be taken care of yes. and provided for. Will be. Miss Davis? Did you ever tell this other man that you slept with once, the one that you just said you slept with once, did you ever tell him about the pregnancy? No. I didn't Do have you know reason. where he is? No. I haven't seen him since then. So if he is Elizabeth's biological father, do you know how to reach him? I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure I can find him. Mm. Ma'am, I can... Well, go ahead, sir. All I want is the truth. And I have that for you. Jerome, the envelope, please. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Davis versus Simpson, if you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. When it comes to two-year-old Elizabeth Davis, 
It has been determined by this court. Mr. Simpson, you are the father. Okay. Absolutely. I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta get my baby. I got to get my girl. Thank you. It is my honor and pleasure. I can see the relief. I see the joy. Yes. That's all I can say. They're, they're my heart. <laughs> they're everything. <laughs> and she is a handful, but I love her. <laughs> well, from what you've stated, she gets it from her mama. <laughs> Sounds like Miss Davis was a handful. But you know what, Miss Davis? I will say this. No one's life is perfect. We make mistakes, we grow. You all got married when you're so young. And you maintained in this courtroom that when you got back together with Mr. Simpson, that you tried to just be faithful to him. And I think that's a good thing, that you all are able to have at least some level of trust between one another. Because that's important. She is absolutely beautiful. I'm so happy I was able to give you the answer you both wanted. And I wish you all the very best of luck. Court is adjourned.